all these things that might surprise you, in Roland Garros. Watch the video till the end and subscribe the channel. Friends, the more you praise, the less it will be for Nadal. Today we will talk about why Nadal has the best qualities of Roland Garros. Beating Nadal at RG still the toughest task in tennis. Even at the age of 36, the now 14-time Roland Garros champion remains almost unstoppable when he gets his feet on the clay in the French capital. Only two men have managed to beat him, Novak Djokovic, twice, and Robin Sadler. Even this year, when his clay court season began late due to a fractured rib and when he arrived in Paris with doubts about his fitness because of his left foot pain, he triumphed yet again. Against Djokovic in the quarterfinals, he produced tennis of the highest caliber when he needed it, surprising everyone with his level, but shocking no one with his energy and ability to find a way, even when the odds seem stacked against him. He's now 112-3 at Roland Garros, a simply phenomenal record that will surely never be beaten. At 36 and with 22 Grand Slam titles to his name, who knows how many more he has in it but he's written his name indelibly in the tournament's history. Alcaraz still a work in progress. When Carlos Alcaraz was installed as second favorite, in some places, to win Roland Garros, ahead of Rafael Nadal, eyebrows were raised. But such was the conviction that the 19-year-old was ready to win his first slam that the pressure on his young shoulders was largely overlooked. The danger signs were there when he looked a little flat in his match with Albert Ramos Vinolas only to raise himself and save match point and win. But he ran out of steam against Alexander Zverev in the quarters and has yet to get past that stage in a slam. He's box office, that's for sure, and he seems to have everything he needs to win Grand Slam titles. But at Roland Garros, he'll have to wait another year at least. When Djokovic won the title in Rome a week before the start of Roland Garros, it looked as if he was back to his best after his well-documented struggles at the start of the year. After he sauntered through his first four matches here, he was favored to beat Nadal in the quarterfinals and go on to win the title for the second year in a row and the third in all. But against Nadal, he was unable to produce his very best form when he needed it. His coach, Joran Ivanishevich, said his body language was not quite where it should have been, his energy was not there and maybe he didn't quite believe that he could beat Nadal. That's not the Djokovic we know so well. Expect him to bounce back at Wimbledon. Kasper Ruud has been doing a great job on the ATP Tour for the past couple of years, with very little fanfare. The 23-year-old has been Norway's finest for a while now but after his outstanding run to the final in Paris, he's put his nation on the tennis map. At his best on clay, he performed well in the final but as so many have found before him, beating Nadal is a step too far. A great athlete and seemingly a really great guy too, his quiet determination has already got him a long way. Reaching a first slam final will only bolster his confidence, he is likely to be a threat at Roland Garros and elsewhere for many years. Winning a first slam is so difficult. For Alexander Zverev, Stefanos Tsitsipas, Denis Shapovalov, Yannick Sinner, and Andrei Rublev, the wait goes on. Though Zverev and Tsitsipas have been closer, each of them within a set of taking their first slam title, all five seem to keep finding ways not to make it over the line. For Zverev, it was a combination of Rafael Nadal and bad luck, who knows what might have happened if he had not hurt his ankle in the semi-finals. For Sinner, too, injury stopped him in his tracks when he was looking good. But for Tsitsipas, it was a surprisingly poor performance in losing to teenager holder room. For Rublev, the quarterfinal again was his limit and for Shapovalov. Well, while he's capable of incredible highs, he's also entirely capable of playing well below par, which usually results in a loss, this time a first-round defeat, also by Rune. 